Welcome back as we begin our overview of V-section belts. The term V-belt is derived from the cross-sectional shape of the belt. The original design, now known as classical V, has a 40-degree angle in the V. The classical V-belt, although still in popular use, is now being superseded by the wedge belt. Similar in appearance, but the wedge has a deeper profile. The angle is between 36 and 40 degrees. Both classical and wedge belts are constructed primarily of rubber compounds. However, their strength lies in the cords made from synthetic fibers which are extremely tough and able to cope with tensile stresses. In order to understand fully how V-belts work, we need to go into some important theory. The transfer of power through a belt is dependent upon several factors, but mostly upon friction. This occurs between the belt surfaces and the inside surfaces of grooves in the sheaves or pulleys that are fixed to the rotating shafts. Pulley grooves are machined in such a way as to create a small interference angle, thus ensuring that the belt wedges snugly into the groove. Contact between belt and pulley groove is created on the belt's side faces. It is important that you understand this fact. To obtain the correct frictional forces, a belt must be properly tensioned, that is, tightened between the driver and driven pulleys. Correct tensioning ensures that the V-section is pulled or wedged into the pulley groove, thereby providing optimum power transfer. The modern wedge belt, having a wider frictional area than a classical V-belt, is able to transmit higher loads for a given size of belt. Depending upon loads, both types of belt may be used in single drive, or in multiple drive configurations. However, it must be made clear that on no account may classical V and wedge type belts be mixed on the same drive. In order to identify the two types, we have to read the manufacturer's label on the belt. If the belt information bears the letters SP followed by other letters, the belt is of wedge type design. A belt bearing the letters Z, A, B, C, or D, followed by other information, indicates that it is of classical design. As belts are created for a range of applications, from light machinery to heavy-duty applications, it follows that belts of different sizes are required. By international convention, the letters Z, A, B, C, and D are used to denote standards in the cross-sectional size of belts. The subject of size can become confusing and for this reason it is suggested that you consult a manufacturer's chart whenever you need sizing information. In the wedge range of sizes, the letters SPZ, SPA, SPB, SPC and the word delta denote the available cross-sections. Similarly, in classical V-type, the sizes Z, A, B, C and D are available. Various pulleys are manufactured to conform to standard belt sizes. Again, we suggest that reference be made to your manufacturer's chart for information on pulleys to match a particular belt type. <laughs>